Well, hey guys, how you doing? Um, excuse the redness in my face. I got a facial today, so I pampered myself since it was just my birthday. Um, anyway, so here's a message, uh, March 29th, 2023. Waves, my child, waves are coming. Enormous waves, they will cover the walls. I love my children and I love to see you eagerly seeking me. Your faith and trust in me pleases me. My movie you all have been eagerly searching for will be called... The Prodigal Son, A Journey from the Stars. It has not been marketed yet, but production is almost over. They will start marketing it soon. It will have my true calendar dates in it. So I Googled it, guys. There's nothing out there that I could find. Um, and uh, I just prayed in the spirit. And, you know, I asked Jesus for confirmation. And the first thing he said was First Peter 1.11 in my head. So, I'm just going by faith, guys, childlike faith, but, you know, just pray for me because this is a lot, um, and I just, you know, I trust in Jesus, and um, he's awesome. I also claim that he came to earth as a man in the flesh, and he died for us, and he bled on the cross, and he rose three days later, and ignore the telegram and the WhatsApp people. Okay, so the first scripture he gave me after that message was first peter 1 11 they wondered what time or situation the spirit of christ within them was talking about when he told them in advance about christ's suffering and his great glory afterward so i thought that was an interesting scripture because it's like the time or the situation you know i don't know i just felt like that was very relevant that popped in my head so that was cool after i copied and pasted it um first thessalonians 4 8 Therefore, he who rejects this does not reject man, but God, who has also given us his Holy Spirit. John 6, 8. One of his disciples, Andrew Simon, Peter's brother, said to him, Hebrews 3, 5. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house as a servant for a testimony of those things which would be spoken afterward. And here is another message. Oh, ye little faith. Oh, before I say this message, guys, in every video he's literally talking to three groups of people his believers is the chosen ones the church who 100 percent trust in jesus the people who are not believing in jesus who happen to come across the video that will turn to jesus after we're gone and then he's also talking he references a lot about the jews you know who are believing that the messiah um, hasn't come yet so Keep that in mind, okay? Oh, you little faith, will this be the sign you need to believe in me? Oh, you wicked children, I wish your hearts were pure. I am speaking to my prophets, and the truth will be revealed soon. Keep looking up. When you learn my true calendar, you will know time is very short, and my door will be closing. Look at the moon and the stars, I will be calling you home. I wish for no one to perish. Believe in me and I will give you truth. Delight in me and I will give you the desires of your heart. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. I am Lord. I am the great I am. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I am the truth, the, the, truth, the way, the life, and no one can come to the Father except through me. You are my building and I am your rock. You plant the seeds and I make them grow. I am living through you, and we are all one spirit in the body of Christ. And then he gave me Ephesians 3.11. According to the eternal purpose which he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord. And then he gave me Ecclesiastes uh, 2.9. So I became great and excelled more than all who were before me in Jerusalem. Also my wisdom remained with me. Colossians 3.7. In which you yourself once walked when you lived in them. Philippians 1.5 For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now. James 3.9 With it we bless our God and Father, and with it we curse men who have been made in the similitude of God. Genesis 5.9 Enosh lived 90 years and begot Canaan. Philippians 3.3-4 3, 3 For we are the circumcision of who worship God in the spirit, rejoice in Christ Jesus and have no confidence in the flesh, though I also might have confidence in the flesh. If anyone else thinks he may have confidence in the flesh, I more so. Okay, so 
I think that's just, rep, you know, referencing, um, you know, the circumcision, um, basically following the laws and stuff, as I think where that's going. But, but anyway, I always ask Jesus everything, guys, and, and turn to him um, for everything. But again, I don't gain anything out of this. I just trust in Jesus, and I'm just trying to lead people and, and be obedient and because I have a heart for people and I don't want anyone to perish. And, um, you know, guys, it takes a lot of childlike faith, a lot of childlike faith. <laughs> and, um, I must've asked Lord, you know, like he probably gets sick of me because I just, are you sure? Are you sure this is what you said? Are you sure? <laughs> and so I'm like reading it and I'm like holding my hand. And then like, if I feel my hand shake or anything, I'm like, okay, wait, wait, what is it? And then like when he like my hand just gets really, really tight and almost like cannot move it, like he's holding my hand. And then I'm just like, okay, this is it, this is it. But I am human guys, I'm not perfect. And um, I've never claimed to be a prophet my whole life. You know, all this started December 30th of 2022. So um, I'm, Jesus is teaching me a lot you know, since December and, um, you know, I'm, I'm still learning a lot. You know, I definitely don't claim that I know everything. I'm, believe me, I question myself all the time. I'm like, Jesus, you know, it's awesome to be his messenger. Like I, I'm, I'm so grateful. And, you know, he has no favorites. He chooses everyone to do different things. Um, but I'm just like, why did you choose me? <laughs> I feel so dumb most of the time. People always make fun and, and you know, because I don't pronounce things correctly. And um, I don't know. It is just me. But um, I love I love Jesus with all my heart. And, um, you know, no one will ever take my faith away because I've been through a lot. Um, my testimony and stuff, you know, I've, I've been through a lot. And there's some things, obviously, I don't even talk about that are even more personal. Um, but this whole time, I know Jesus has always been with me and I didn't even know him until I was 28 years old. So if you don't know him, he's wonderful. And, um, just ask him to come into your life, you know, um, believe in him and confess that he's Lord guys. And, you know, it's not about what we do. It's about what he did for us already. And once you know the true salvation of Jesus Christ and you're not trying to do anything on your own and you just become in love with Jesus you're going to want to please him and you're going to want to walk in the spirit and you're not going to want to do things wrong like you know that you would feel like it would upset him and we all fall short none of us are perfect but um you know the Holy Spirit convicts you it convicts you and when you have Jesus you know you feel that conviction in your heart that's why I think you know he talks about practicing sin because when you have Jesus in your heart I don't believe you're going to want to practice sin because the Holy Spirit is just really not going to let you you know he, he definitely convicts you and um, that's why I think walking in the spirit really helps you get rid of those desires of the flesh um, you know, and if you're trying to seek Jesus more, keep praying, keep praying for his will for you and lay down things from him for him. I mean, if, if he convicts you on something, if you feel like you're loving something more than him, let it go. Trust in him. You know, I mean, I'm pretty much trusting him in everything. Um, my job, my church, um, and then uh, my music, you know, wanted to do country music my whole life. And, um, you know, now I'm just, just doing his messages pretty much, but I still sing, I still sing his, you know, music for him and Christian and stuff. So, you know, but all right, time's almost up. So, um, thanks for listening. And you guys, if you see anything on this movie, let me know. Okay. Have a, have a blessed day. Love you.